everyone warned us about this stage. <laughs> Boys, can we not destroy the office? I've had to take them out because... We like to keep things real around here, so this is what... Something really exciting has just been delivered. She's been buzzing about this. A very cool idea, actually. Something that I want to launch this year. Cheese! <laughs> We're also going on a gym date tonight. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. So this video is going to be 24 hours with a twin mum. I've got um, a few things going on today, so I just thought I would take you along with me. I'm going to be floating in and out because I am working today, but whilst Ella's out, maybe I'll show you a bit of what I get up to in my working day. But to be honest with you, we were away last weekend. We didn't get a chance to film a weekend vlog, did we? No, because so, we were having family time. Yeah, we were having family time. We weren't filming, so we we're just going to do a day in the life. It's going to be an interesting day. We're also going on a gym date tonight. We are, which is something that me and Fab used to do all of the time. So we actually went for a gym date last week, the week before, and football. it, like, sparked that little bit of... Look, by the way, he's seen football on the TV and he's seen football. He's seen football? Can't get a word in her trees these days. You hear that? Football. Football. Insert the clip of Noah absolutely playing with football. We thought he was going to pick it up, but he was playing <laughs> football with it. So, like I was saying, about two weeks ago, me and Fab went for it was like our first gym date in ages. It just sparked a little bit of like us, didn't it? Yeah. It, it was, was nice. nice to spend the time together because me and Fab used to go to the gym together all the time, literally like six times a week. We've just got the boys dressed um, and given them their morning milk. Fab is. I'm not going to the gym this no, morning. No, no, you're not. No. Fab does normally go to the gym like at eight o'clock in the morning to get it done and I have the boys and do the breakfast and stuff but you're here for breakfast today yeah and if you're wondering where my hair extensions have gone <laughs> I've had to take them out because no fault of my hair extensionists at all but like I said I was trying a new method I think it's called like the naked weave and the method was fine However, because we were trying a new method, we got hair from a different brand. It is just horrendous. The hair that we bought from a different company, not from Chloe, is just horrific. Um, it's gone green after one wash. It's really like coarse and ratty. Like it's absolutely horrendous. We're back to normal hair. I'm getting a refund for those hair extensions and we are going with a different brand of hair. I think it's called like Remy Cache or something like that. Um, and we're gonna go from there. But yeah, hair extensions out. This is my um, natural hair, it's a bit thin. We are now going to have breakfast. Ari, get out the bin. Ari, why are they obsessed with opening the bin? No idea. Hey? Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> yeah. Are we going to have some breakfast? We're going to have some breakfast now. I think I'm going to make the boys the oat banana cookies. Yeah? They like They them, absolutely they? love these cookies. What are you going to have? I don't know. I've switched now. I used to, my eating habits used to be I'd have a massive dinner and I wouldn't yeah. really eat breakfast. But now I have a big breakfast, medium lunch, small dinner. I feel like it's healthier for your body and your sleep. Also, to clarify, if you saw the last video, Ellen has left her teaching job to do social media full time, which is amazing. But we, we should have clarified, she doesn't actually finish work for another like five or six weeks, is I it? Finish Easter. She finishes at Easter. So it's gonna be around then that we start doing two videos a week. So let us know what type of thing you would like to see from her. Whether or not you're happy for videos to... We're well and truly in the clingy stage at the moment. That's okay. Where's Ari gone? He's in my, I bet he's in my office. Oh my god. Excuse me, what do you want to fix? <laughs> Aside from the obvious that I haven't done my office yet, I really need to get a new door. Oh my... Ari, don't... No, 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 no. I really need to get a new door because this door does not close. So these boys quite often just come waltzing in whilst I'm working. Boys, can we not destroy the office? All right, you can bring the screwdriver. Go and say, say, mummy, I'm come to fix your tap. Everyone warned us about this stage. <laughs> they are into absolutely everything. everything. Everything, they can open drawers, they can open covers, they can open doors. Doors, doors they can open and they're having a go at the stair gate. We've locked all the cupboards in the kitchen are locked, but yeah, they can open the doors now. So you've got to keep a close eye on them, which makes filming content very hard, actually, <laughs> so doesn't we, it? So if we dart off at any time, yeah. that's why. Do you want so, to show how you make your cookies? All you have to do is 
So this is for the boys. So it's two bananas, oats, until it looks like that. I don't know how much oats to add. I probably should follow grams, the grams, I think. And then I add a little, a tiny bit of ground cinnamon. And also, but we've run out, I add half a teaspoon of peanut butter. And then you're meant to add chocolate chips, but obviously boys can't have chocolate. Make them into balls, flatten them, and then put them in the air fryer for 10 minutes. And then that's all we have to do. No, not in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Can you put them back? Put the pot back in there. What have you just done? And now he's off to mess something else up. If you were after an aesthetic, perfect house parent video, I'd click away now because this house is an absolute mess and we need to tidy it up. We like to keep things real around here. So this is what our house looks like on the daily because the boys, well, you saw what they're like. They just throw stuff. So we've recently been setting a timer and seeing how much we can get done in this timer. It's been really helping you, hasn't it? To like stay yeah. on track and it's focused. It's how much faster you go when yeah. you've got a time limit. And it's been helping us to get things done in a short amount of time, which means obviously then we have more time to be yeah. um, with the boys. Because they only nap once a day now, we've got to start doing things when they're awake. So yeah. we're trying to promote like more South independent play, play. Yeah. Um, but they're going through a really like teeny stage at the moment where they just want to be with us yeah. in our arms, hanging around us. But we're trying, we're trying, yeah. we're trying to navigate another stage in parenthood. Yeah. It's difficult, man. Yeah, we need like what they call an au pair to clean the house and do our, all of our washing and stuff. <laughs> so if you fancy doing that. <laughs> Right, that's a bit of a tidy up done now. What was that, like 10 minutes, Al? Yeah. Feeling better about the house now. Just a good. little bit of a tidy yeah. up and a hoover. Yeah. That is a new hoover, by the way. We switched to a shark corded one. We got fed up with getting half around the house and the hoover dying. So we've gone back to corded and yeah, yeah. we don't regret it. We will link the hoover below. Um, yeah, we got it from Amazon. It's pretty affordable for a, hoover, for a shark hoover anyway. Right, I need to go and get dressed. I'm still in I'm my jammies. I'm gonna go start work, okay? Right, I'm dressed and in my running kit. Noah is obsessed with this camera. Cheese! <laughs> right, ignore the egginess of me. <laughs> I am off on a run. If you're my cheerleading coach, please turn your ears off right now because I haven't told you. Um, but I've actually hurt my ankle um, a week ago and I've basically not been running for the whole week because I want to rest it because I've got so many cheer comps coming up. I've got my half marathon coming up. I basically just needed to have the complete week off doing exercise. On it. As you guys know, I speak very closely with my dad um, with running, he's very experienced. And I was at my dad's on the weekend and we had a look over my ankle and it's finally like feeling a little bit better. I think I must've just like twinged it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've had the whole week off. So this is my first week back, my first run back after that. Um, but we are in the depths of like half marathon running now. This week and next week are like peak weeks. So the longest distance that I'll be running. So this injury has kind of come at a really bad time. By the way, Fab bought me this hat for um, Valentine's Day because I kept stealing his, but I'm not sure if it's the same one he's got. You know, you just prefer somebody else's. <laughs> and my ankle's really fine, but I've got such bad stitch. Elle is on her run, the boys are asleep. I am working in the office and I'm about to have a call with Al who owns our talent agency. I've got a cool idea, a very cool idea actually, which I'm really excited about. Something that I wanna launch this year, but basically Al owns not just the talent agency, but like different kind of networks, I guess, and things that might be able to help with this idea. To what capacity, I don't know. It's still just an idea at the moment, but hoping to get the ball moving on this. Um, and get it launched this year. The visuals of it are just so much better. So the boys are still currently napping. So I'm gonna head out and just post my vintage parcel 
Fab's on a meeting. I don't know if he um, has turned the camera on while I've been out for a run. But I managed to do 7K. I think we are back in business, guys. So I was meant to go to soft play with Rach later on. Fortunately, the place where we were gonna go hasn't got any spaces left because we've both got twins. So Rach has got twins and I've got twins, obviously. Um, and they only had two spaces left. So we are gonna go next week instead. So that means that this afternoon, I need to find something for us to do. I need to go to town to get the boys some vests because they're now in 18 to 24 months and the vests are so small that they like squash the nappy. And if you're a parent, you know you don't want the vest squashing the nappy because everywhere you really don't want that to happen so i need to go and get them some bigger vests um and also some more pajamas but i think i might get to primark for those because we got some little like i call them boy pajamas they're just like trousers and a top from there last time and they've lasted really well like they they're, honestly they're like so soft i get really nervous still about going into town with the boys on my own they are absolutely fine but i don't know just gives me a little bit of a Something really exciting has just been delivered. So you guys know we've had billions and billions of prams. Like I think, I actually think we have been through the mill of them. Like a lot of them anyway. We had the tandem pram, which was brilliant when they were newborns, literally brilliant. But then when the boys got bigger, it came too heavy. Like tandem prams are quite heavy. We got the side by side, which that pram is brilliant. However, we needed more of like a running pram um, and like an off-road pram because we, go off <laughs> we go off-roading we don't go off-roading we go on to like different terrains and stuff and like around us there's quite a lot of fields doing a lot of running at the moment we wanted a pram that we could go running with so we got the out and about but we did get the out and about second hand and it's been fantastic like it it literally is everything we wanted it's um side by side the wheels are big enough so the like running is fine and you can go on all terrains and stuff i don't know if you've seen the old pram but it's got a lot of wear and tear but out and about basically reached out to us and asked us if um they could send us the double nipper version five i think so we are um working with out and about on instagram which is huge it's like a really organic bit of work for us because we absolutely love out and about and if you are looking for a twin pram or a we're not working with them here on here so i don't have to say this but um if you were looking for a double pram you need to get yourself an out and about and they do actually do a carry cot for newborns brilliant 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 pram so yeah when i get home i will show you that if the boys are still sleeping which hopefully they should i mean they've been napping absolutely rubbish at the moment literally for like an hour when they should really be having like a three hour nap i think they're going through a regression because i'm having a bit of trouble at night as well so we're gonna open this be excited she's been buzzing about this did you tell them what you were having a meeting about no 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 something coming are you gonna sell the 400 other prams that we have now <laughs> Al is like a pram hoarder you literally own about five prams yeah including the one that my dad has They've sent us the foot muffs as well, so we don't have to put blankets over them anymore. Really? Just what, they keep them warm? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So I just put the camera down, walk back over. I'm like, what is that on the side? She's got her hair extensions in a bloody lunchbox. Because <laughs> why have you got them in a lunchbox? <laughs> Yeah, but that's even freakier. Imagine if we get a visitor, they're gonna think we've like murdered someone. So the pram is now all set up and ready to go. They very kindly sent us some foot muffs as well. So these are like, um, I don't know, what's this called, Sherpa? I don't know. Anyway, they're lined. So the boys won't actually need a blanket now, which is great because it always just kept falling off. It's amazing. And look at this, look how far these come over. So you can individually put the sunshade over and it's literally like black out in there. So this is gonna be brilliant for like naps and stuff. But yeah, very, very happy with it. The boys are actually just having um, some lunch. They've had beans, pasta, a little bit of cheese and broccoli. And then I cut the pasta up because they don't like the big chunks of pasta. And then they are just having a little pack of melty things before 
we go out for a walk. So we're actually gonna take the pram out for a walk. Pram out for the walk. We're gonna take the boys out for a walk. It's a really nice day today. I don't know if anybody else feels this, but I feel like spring is coming and I have this feeling every year of like, you know when you can just start seeing signs of spring and like things are getting, it makes me really happy. I don't know. Okay. All around his face. Baby! Can you do cheese? Cheese! Now tell me that is the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Where's your head? Yay! Where's your nose? Yay! Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! In the new whip. Do you think they'll keep a beanie on? Absolutely not. Smooth? Yeah. Let me have a go. This way. Whoa! <laughs> Oh wow, look at this view. So those white things are a load of sheep and there's a sheep dog, look, herding them up. Anyway, how's life? What's your favourite chocolate bar? Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. <laughs> What's your favourite chocolate bar? Oh, I'll tell you what. What? Orange mini eggs. That's not a chocolate bar. Yeah, it's a chocolate. Probably Galaxy. Yeah, Galaxy's nice. It gets a bit sickly though. I feel sorry for the Americans having Reese's. <laughs> Hershey's. That stuff is disgusting. No, 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 not Reese's. What am I talking about? Hershey's. Hershey's. Hershey's actually tastes like soap. Oh. Big dog. Where? Behind that fence. Reese's is lovely. I, I love Reese's, but Hershey's, that can go in the bin. Do you know what? Mine's actually quite rogue. Very rogue. Aero mint. <laughs> I have a weird taste, hence why I married you. Um, comment down below, guys, and let us know what your favourite chocolate bar is. <laughs> look, you got to look into this screen. This is what I mean, guys. This is this is not even all of them. There's a there's another doona. There's one at your dad's. Back from our walk now, and we're all just sitting down. Well, I am sitting down having a coffee. The boys are having their daytime middle of the day time bottle. We did try and drop it, but they're just not ready for it yet. So they are still having. Well, they're still having three bottles a day, uh, and that's absolutely fine because. If you didn't know, we're under the dietitian and we speak to them quite regularly about um, the boys' allergies and stuff. And she said that it's fine for them to still be having their milk, but just push towards having it in a cup rather than um, a bottle. But uh, they're not ready to use it. Well, they do use a cup for water, but it goes everywhere. And they're giving it when they've got their bibs on so that they don't just get soaking wet. I'm just gonna sit and watch a little bit of TV while these guys have their milk. And I'm also gonna eat my, um, wrong way around, grenade Oreo bar. I actually got these from Asda last night. It is now time to just have a little bit of a quick whiz around of the lounge, cause it is a little bit of a mess. This is what we mean. We literally cannot turn our backs for two seconds. <laughs> I now need to make some content for Instagram and I'm currently, well, I'm going to do a what's new in my gym wardrobe because I've got loads of new gym clothes recently. So I'm gonna show you them, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm not gonna make a reel. I'm gonna make a carousel. So if you see that, please share the love on it. As you guys know, I am on a journey to grow my own Instagram now that I am not teaching. So, right, let's get on with it. Oh my God, you can tell that Ellen's been using this camera. Yeah, <gasps> Is it? Logged off for work now. About to have some dinner with the boys. Ho ho! Dinner time, Elle has made me and the boys meatballs and spaghetti. Look at me, that weighs about 10 kilos. These bowls are really good because you can just stick them down and the boys can use their spoon. To help them. Good boy, that's it. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. We're on the way to the gym, just testing the low light mode. 
on the Osmo. It's literally so Osmo. dark. Osmo Digicam, 3. Digicam, isn't it? Digicam? <laughs> it's not a Tamagotchi, Al. It's called a Digicam, isn't it? A Digi... Are you being serious? Digi... DJI. DJI. Oh, okay, I'll forgive you, yeah. DJI is the brand. It's called a Pocket Cam. If anyone is thinking about getting this camera, just do it. Best purchase I've ever made. And I'll put an affiliate link for that below because I actually <laughs> need to make some money back after this purchase. So, <laughs> do you want to link so please. Else? Oh yeah, I've been on fire <laughs> linking. I'm gonna link money. that. Yeah. You're gonna link that. <laughs> you want the link for that in the description. <laughs> I've got to fund your bloody shopping habit somehow. Yeah. Uh, wow, I don't come to the gym at this time and it's rammed. Anyway, we're gonna film a bit of our workout. I thought oh, I've hijacked your vlog. This is meant to be a 24 hours of a twin mum. But Ellen's just so bad at picking the camera up that I have to do it for her. Fab, I'm driving. True? I'm no, literally not now, driving. Not it now. is literally illegal for me to pick up a camera right I'm not, now. Not talking. So, what do you want me to do? You don't have me head doing any banded Bulgarian blasters. Well, to be honest, Fab, you could kind of do with them. <laughs> so casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some part from the gym. Adam, anything to say? <laughs> She's got her, is that a teeth whitening thing? Mm -hmm. I have been vlogging that. Wait till you watch this footage back. Right? I'm only like, joking, Sunshine. You're a brilliant vlogger. Anyway, Come on. so that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you subscribe. like my biceps, please yeah, subscribe. Your hair on. <laughs> Get off. Look, hair is natural, okay? Right. How are you gonna braid it? Shh. Anyway. We'll see you in the next video. Ellen's a, Bye. Ellen is a frog. Okay, we're 6k in. My ankle's really fine, but I've got such a bad stitch. Just taking this one really, really.